Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the members of our WhatsApp group, Free Math Solutions, for participating actively. You have been posting brilliant questions and that has been supported by some excellent solutions. I am taking this opportunity to provide solution to one of your question which is based on exponential functions. We need to write the equation of the given graphs. So here is the question. In the sketch below, g of x is equal to a b to the power of x and f of x is minus k to the power of x plus m plus q. Find both the functions. So that is the graph for these functions. Now g of x is exponential function which is growing and f of x has been reflected so that it has a y uh, equals to 0 as its horizontal asymptote x intercept is minus 1, y intercept is minus 2. You can also pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with g of x which is fairly simple. So g of x is given in the form of a times b to the power of x, right? Now we are given two points, one is 0, 1, the other one is 1, 3. Now clearly if 1 and 3 is a point on this particular graph, then we can say that uh, b should be equal to 3 when x is 1 and a could be 1, right? So a simple solution could be it is passing through two points. One is 0, 1. The other point, let's call this as a, the other point b is 1, 3, right? So these are the two points which we need to consider. So we're saying this is A for us and that is B for us. So if we write 0 and 1, 0 for X and 1 for the output, I get 1 equals to A, B to the power of 0 and that gives you the value of A, right? So B to the power of 0 is 1, so we get 1 equals to A. Now we are going to substitute the point B, which is 1 and 3. So we already know the value of A. So I could write this as B to the power of X. Substituting 1 and 3, we get 3 equals to B to the power of 1. And that implies that B is equal to 3, right? So we have the first function here, which is G of X as equal to 3 to the power of x. Okay. So let me highlight this. And now we'll figure out how to find the equation for the second function, which is f of x. Now if you notice, the graph of f of x has been reflected, right? So this minus k does indicate that. Then we have k to the power of x plus m plus q. So let me write this function. We have f of x as equals to minus k to the power of x plus m plus q. Now, as far as this horizontal asymptote is concerned, it is at y equals to 1. So since we know that we have a horizontal asymptote, y equals to 1, it really tells you the value of q from this particular expression. So if I write x as very large negative value, then I get the value of q, right? So what we're trying to say from here is that when x approaches negative infinity, in that case, y approaches 1. So if I use this value here, when x is approaching negative infinity, y is approaching 1, we could write like this. 1 equals to negative k to the power of negative infinity plus m plus q. Now clearly, when we have k to the power of negative infinity, this term will be approaching 0. This is very, very small. Correct. So therefore, we get from here that 
q is equal to 1 correct now let's use the other two points minus 1 and minus 2 to find the value of m and k so since we have very less space here I will kind of divide the space and then work so if I substitute minus 1 for x in that case well let me now write this function f of x as equal to minus k now when we have some like this I could actually write this as minus k to the power of x times k to the power of m right and we have q as 1 as we just saw here now let us substitute minus 1 for x value and 0 for f of x so we get one equation which is let's take it on this side so <clears throat> let's write both the equations here okay so if I substitute minus 1 for x I get 0 equals to minus k to the power of minus 1 times k to the power of m plus m plus 1 now that really means that I could write this as this is minus 1 over k right so what we get here bringing this term to the left side it is k to the power of m over k is equal to 1 so let me call this as our equation number 1 now we'll substitute the other point which is x0 y is minus 2 so we have minus 2 here x is 0 right so means minus k to the power of 0 times k to the power of m plus 1 now if this first term anything to the power of 0 is 1 so bringing it to the left side we get k to the power of m as equal to 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 we'll call this as our equation number 2 for part b right okay so we know that k to the power of m is 2 and this ratio is 1 so we will now substitute from 2 the value of k to the power of m in this equation correct so what do we get k to the power of m is 3 so we get 3 over k equals to 1 and that gives you the value of k as equal to 3 correct so we get the value of k as equal to 3 so let's highlight this now the last thing to find is the value of m so now from equation 1 let's call this as our equation 3 okay now from equation 1 and 3 substituting k as 3 we can now find the value of m so what we have here is basically 3 to the power of m over k is 3 right over 3 should be equal to 1 now that is possible only if m is also equal to 1 so that implies that m equals to 1 clear only then both will be same so now we have all the values and I can write down the function f of x so we have the function f of x as equal to let's write it here so the f of x is equal to so we have minus the k value is 3 x m value is 1 and q value is also 1 correct so that becomes our function so this function f of x is basically uh, equal to minus 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 1 right so you, you can actually check the result if this is your equation we have a reflection as shown here this y means the horizontal asymptote and if I substitute 
the value minus 1 for x, I do get 0. And if I substitute 0 for x, I do get minus 2. So it fulfills the requirements. And therefore, the function f of x can be written as equal to, just as we are seeing, minus 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 1. Perfect. So that is how we can find both the functions and all the unknown parameters. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and I'll also provide you with a link to our WhatsApp group. All those who are interested in joining, you can join and contribute as others are doing. Thanks for your time and all the best.